G'day guys, what's cracking? Two Aussie here again. So we're at HJ's and we're gonna give the Brooklyn Angus Grill Masters Burger a red hot crack. Oh, it's a bit busy here. <laughs> Anywho, uh, also, I'm gonna get in a large meal, but I'm gonna grab the Space Shake, which we haven't tried yet. Man, I'm surprised how busy this is. They don't usually get this busy here. Could be a long wait. Oh man, and it's a lineup. Oh, and B. Hi, what can I get for you? Can I just pick up order 9462, thanks? Thanks. Well, I just saw on the board those glasses. I got a large meal, even though I got a thick shake. Try and remember to grab a glass if they don't give it to me. Not that I'm that super juiced about those things. <laughs> Everyone's getting their drinks and then getting sent around the front. Order? Yep. Can I just do the pop around the front, please? Is there going to be any room around the front? Sorry? Is there going to be any room around the front? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they look. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, you'll know where I am. <laughs> anyway, we got the Space Shake, folks. We can suck on that for a while while we wait for our order. Let the wait begin. So while we're waiting, folks, let's check out the old space shake. Now, this should be like that other thing, the storm. We've got popping candy in it, and it's people. So I reckon. Might have a little bit of a sip while we're waiting. Can't get the bloody lid back on. That was a critical mistake. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Let's open the straw. Let's see what's doing. Tell you what, I can't believe how chockers hungry jacks is here at Lithgow today. They must be all here instead of Maccas across the road. So I'm sticking in. Let's give it a red hot suck. Jibbly. I can't lie, folks, that's very similar to the old Grimace shake, as you would think, but got that popping candy in it. I can feel it popping inside my mouth, and it's more flavoursome. I like this better. If I was going to compare the pair, this one already is the winner. The popping candy doesn't do much for it, but the flavour is good. It's very nice, very purpley. Plenty of syrup, total winner. Give that a crack. Give old Grimace a swerve. Very Moorish. Can't stop drinking it. Wunderbar. Thanks for that. See ya. You got the goods, babies. I can't wait. I've got to have a chip. Nice and hot. Nicely seasoned. And the old grill master is in there. Let's go and find somewhere to have a little manjari. And I'll show you the goods. Come with. Rightio. Time to have a squeeze at this burger. I oh, bloody forgot about that glass and they didn't give it to me either, but they were chocker block. Pretty full on today there at HJ, so... Can't say I'm too disappointed. We got our large chips. Gotta have a chip. You know the deal. Well, actually, we did have a chip, didn't we? <laughs> Broken chip. Now, I'm not going to say the star of the show because we do have our thick shake 
as well. And it's a beauty. So folks, this is our large meal. Now, please know, $19.05 for the large meal, the whole kit and caboodle, but that's with a soft drink or something like that. With a thick shake, two bucks extra, but it still turned out pretty much the same as it would for a large meal. Not much difference. So let's check this guy out. We got two stars today. Thought we'd kill two birds with one stone. Actually, you should keep that there, eh? Oh, I can smell that. It smells phantasmagorical. Now, it's got its own little grill master's nappy. I do love to see that. Cheese hanging out. Also love to see that. So what's on this sucker? And I can already smell one of those things. It's got tomato. One scabby piece. <laughs> it's a bit of a hot mess, isn't it? Now it's got gherkin slices. Now look at that. You love to see that. There's actually two on there by the looks of it, which is good. It's got tomato. Oh, there's a nice train. It's got tomato spicy stuff. Spicy tomato relish. Just had to get the list. <laughs> Forgot what was on it. Got the gherkin. That's pretty good. Oh, there's heaps of gherkin on there. Cheese. Patty. And there's supposed to be mayo, lettuce, and tomato, as we mentioned. Here's your mayo. I reckon this is looking like a full-on super spreader to me. We may have to leave this guy on. Oh, man, it's going everywhere. Look at that. We'll just, just show you this side. We'll probably start on this side. Looks pretty good on that side. So I reckon I can't even leave that on. It's just <laughs> it slip sliding away. Let's give it a red eye crack. Try not to get it all over me jumper. Down in. So as I expected by the looks of it, it's a hot mess. But so far in a good way. I'm liking that spicy tomato relish. It's really good. Sort of like you don't know where to attack it next. Actually, it looks like it's got two bits of cheese on there. There's some cheese stuck there. I don't know if that's cheese stuck there or not. Another piece. Oh, yeah, there's two pieces, as you can see there. One, two. So let's go again. Really liking that gherkin taste. That tastes pretty good. So if you like things a little bit tangy, this one's for you. I like it. Nice and tangy. With that gherkin and the spicy sauce. And tomato. It's a bit of a winner. What I'm liking about it is, it is different, like that tanginess, I am liking it, with that gherkin, kits in a good way, cheese, can't really taste the cheese all that much, and I think there's so much sauce, you can sort of tell that's a bit dry, even touching it, it feels a bit, <laughs> a bit hard, but you know what, you get that with the Angus patties, don't you? We know what we're in for before we even grab them, so it hasn't worked out too bad though, considering, let's go again.
Now this guy on its own, $13.15. Can't really see the value in that, but we'll give it a three and a half stars out of five for value. Taste, I am liking it, but I've had a lot better too. We'll give it four and a quarter stars out of five for taste. It is a nice difference though. It does taste different and the sauces combine nicely together. I've got to get that bit of tomato before it drops off. If you like a bit of tanginess and you don't mind a bit of mess, this one's for you. I'm, I'm quite liking it. It's pretty good for, you know, I don't think the grill masters always go that well. This one isn't too bad. It hits in a good way. I've got a lot of Angus patty then, and that was pretty dry. But all combines pretty nicely. Just we all, like I said, we all know what the patties are going to be like. They're usually a bit dry. Need another swig. I'm getting the bloke size thirst now. And this guy, do yourself a favor. If you haven't tried the Grimace or this one. Space Shake, well worth a try. Six ninety five on its own. It's a fraction cheaper than the old Grimace for a large one, from what I remember. Well worth a crack. I'd go with this one, as long as your HJ's make is as good as this one, you'll be on to a winner. So, folks, that's the Grill Masters Brooklyn Angus, done and dusted, and plenty of this left, but I will definitely drink a lot of this. It's a winner. So, guys, both items were worth a try if you're willing to pay the price. And I've got plenty of chips left over. I will be full as a gook after this lot. So, guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Huru and stay fresh. Even the chips were phantasmagorical. Bye bye.